Hello and welcome to another video of generative AI on Google Cloud, large language model use cases using Google Cloud platform. In the last video, we talked about the model garden overview and the generative AI studio on Google Cloud. In this video, we are gonna focus on executing API-based, code-based approach using LLM models. As seen in the last video, we talked about the language option in Generative AI Studio. In this, Google has provided a lot, lot of examples on different types of use cases, practical use cases. Chat, summarization, classification, extraction, and other use cases. In this video, we are going to execute use cases using the SDK, Vertex AI SDK, and we will see how do we get this done through a collab. Now, please recall that in the last video, we talked about the zero shot, one shot, and multiple shot, multi shot, or few shot examples. Let's look at it through a code perspective. So, what you would need is a collab. I'm not going to explain you the collab today, but collab is a Google's Jupyter Notebook product or tool, which is available for free. All you have to do is with your Gmail, go to collab, collab.research.google.com, and you would start creating your own collab. So for now, I'm not gonna talk about all of this. Now, let's get started. In order to understand how this code works in Vertex AI, on the collab, these are some of the basic understanding of code that you need to have. You will have to initiate project ID and location. This, these are variables. You could have different variable names, but the project ID that I'm gonna use in this, these examples is LLM-DIY. You can use your credit card and, in, and get a GCP sign up with a $300 credits for 90 days. The project ID is this, location is US Central 1. This is the location we are gonna run, where we are gonna run the code. Next, we are going to import AI platform and we are gonna init project ID. Please understand that you can either init AI platform or you could also init Vertex AI. Both would, both would work and both are same. And then you have you can import from Vertex AI dot preview dot language models. You could import text generation models and text embedding model. We'll talk about the text generation model today, which is the text bison at the rate 001. Please recall in the last video, we talked about text bison 001, which was available in Google Generative AI Studio. So once again, a quick recap, project and location set the values, init the AI platform, and then using the preview language models library, get the text generation model, and we are gonna use text Python at the rate 001. This is the name of the model. So let's get started on Colab. First, you are going to install Google, upgrade or install Google Cloud AI platform. I believe the version is 1.25. So install it. I'm not gonna run this because I have already installed it. Well, after you run this one, please do not forget to restart. So go to run time and click on restart. Next step is from google.colab, import auth as Google Auth. So here I am going to authenticate the Google user. That means this login ID so that I can access this project. So please understand that the Gmail ID that you are using needs to be the same Gmail ID that has access to the Google Cloud project. So I'm gonna authenticate. It is going to pop up and ask you for authentication. I've already done it once, so probably it's not gonna ask. Next, I'm going to have project ID set up. This is the AI platform call and init. These are basic steps that we just discussed. Now, the first step is with 
this text, we are going to summarize it. I have done an instruction prompt tuning, provide a summary with about two sentences for the following articles. These, this is zero prompt. We are not providing examples. Zero prompt, as I mentioned in the previous video, zero prompt is something where you do not provide an example, just ask or tell the model that needs to be done and it will get it done for you. So this text, I, go, I want to summarize it. It's too big for me to read. So let's do that. In the summarization examples, I'm gonna get it deleted. So I'm going to call the vertex AI dot preview language models text generation. And I'm going to initiate the model as text Python. Next step, so let's write a small program that would help summarize it. Now let's look at the function. Test summarization example is the name of the function. Now we say response model dot predict. That means we are calling the model and want to predict what. So I provided the entire text here. Remember the text which I showed you earlier, I want to summarize this text. You could also have a variable and put a text and then call that text variable. That's a different thing. You can always put, you know, make it even better. Temperature is the degree of randomness. Temperature was available. If you go here, if you open it in the last, you have the temperature, which was the degree of randomness. That means that how wild or how random you would like this model to think. One is the highest degree of randomness. That means it is going to hallucinate most of the times. But then if you have a lower deterministic value like, like zero, it is going to only respond to you what is available in the text. It's gonna be very conservative. So very conservative and highly wild or, or the degree of randomness, the thought process would be super undeterministic. That means it can think anything and it would give you more random answers. Token limit, how much you want this output to look like? Like how, what should, would you, do you want the length of the token to be? And then you have top K, which means that how do you select the model's decoding value? That means what are my top three probable tokens that could form the output? And finally, the top P. Top P de determines what is my probability that these value, like for example, value A, B, C should be returned as an output. And based on that, the topmost value is gonna be returned back. So for now, we are not gonna focus on all of this, just temperature. This is one of the most important parameters in deciding what would be the output of your code. So temperature, we have defined temperature as 0.2. Then output tokens is 256. You can make it 1024 as the highest, 40 and 0.95 as default values. So now with this, I'm gonna run this. And then I'm gonna call this text summarization function. And please note that it summarizes the, the stuff which we said or asked it to summarize. Now classification. Classification is a multi-shot example. Classification is a few shot examples. Why? Because we are wanting to find the type of head news headlines. Now, please understand this. This is very important. What is the topic for a given news headline? We can only categorize in business, entertainment, health, sports, and technology. So we are giving the model examples, not one, multiple examples. So you have the text, and then you have this news article or headline in the technology category. This is related to health, sports, business, entertainment. Now categorize this. Because you have given so many examples, here, this becomes a multi-shot 
prompt. And then I run it. And you could also classify news items. Right? Now let's look at the classification examples for sentiment analytics. I want to find out sentiment. So we want to find out the sentiment from this article. This article is big. But then we are providing this particular thing only a couple of examples. Now, because we are providing examples, like negative example, positive example, find out what example is this. Now, when I run it, it's going to give me the response. Please understand what I'm trying to tell you is the types of the model response that you could get, number one, how you could prompt a model, no zero shot, one shot, means one example, or multi-shot, a few shots with few examples. And finally, extractive. Based on this background, you would like to answer the, the LLM to answer these questions. And therefore, this is again a multi-shot. That means you are giving multiple examples. Here, for all of these, we are calling the same model. This model is nothing but the model that we initialized, initialized on the top, which was text Python. Sorry, I'm just scrolling up. The model was text Python. All of these examples are getting the text Bison as their model. So again, running it, and then it is going to respond back on this particular temperature. You can set the temperature as well. And finally, I'm going to go down and finally do the ideation example. The same model. I gave you examples where, let's look at the ideation example, interview questions. You can have the LLM generate the interview questions for a particular role. In this example, I want to generate 10 interview questions for the role of Google Cloud Architect. I provided a temperature, again, 0.2 works in most of the examples. You have max output tokens 256, top K 40, and top P 0.8. And then you have interview examples. Now look at that. The top 10 questions are generated. So again, this lab is available for you to look at and learn from the GitHub. Now GitHub link, I'm going to be shared, sharing into the in the description section of the video. These are the GitHub files or the notebooks that are available for you to consume directly. So if you go here, this is the notebook that we were working on with earlier today. So please make use of this and we will come up with a lot of other examples that could really help or getting comfortable with the with the uh, Gen AI for on GCP. So thank you for watching.